it's um, Lawrence Beraldo. I'm the uh, general manager of Fountex, a new startup company, uh, technology company in Australia. Well, Fantex ASR, Assisted Reality, is, is a technology that's been developed through CSIRO, Australia's leading or predominant uh, government-owned science research organisation, where we as a parent company, TAE Aerospace, were looking for a solution to provide mentoring to our, to our technicians globally in real time. Um, so it's, a, it's using Assisted Reality to provide that in real time. So essentially, what I've got here is that the system is based on a, a headset, the lightest on the market, and to do that, we've removed the weight out of that, the, the computation and the computers moved out of that, as is a uh, battery pack, and that's why it's, a, it's, it's fitted to a backpack that's it's lightweight, comfortable, um, which means we can have just 200 grams on our head. Uh, we're also using cheekbone headsets. Now, the reason for having displays above my eyes, there's two. The human factors means that one of the first things when we're trying to uh, recall information, we glance up. The other is to ensure that I've got full situational awareness around me, so I can look and see my peripheral vision is not impeded by a system where I'm actually looking through the lens. Because I'm doing real-time connectivity and uh, being mentored by somebody remotely, any image that comes back, there's going to be a latency. If I'm looking through that and moving my head and trying to follow what I'm doing, very quick do I become ill because of the, the latency and it also impacts my cognitive ability. So a lot of research, human factor research, has gone into this system uh, because when we use the systems that were on the market, they would not provide us with a solution. So I can glance up to screens. Now the screens above me, I am glancing at screens that at uh, rated at 10 feet would provide an image equivalent to me looking at a 55 inch monitor at 10 feet. So that's what I'm glancing at now. I can see exactly what would be on a normal computer screen above my eyes. I have a camera. Uh, that camera records what I'm actually uh, doing. That transmits the information back to an expert or back to somebody that you're training anywhere in the world in real time. They are then communicating via a touch screen monitor and gesturing. So the information that comes back to my, to my screen is both verbal cues from the mentor and also visual cues uh, where they, might, they will draw on the screen. So they, they will draw and overlay what I'm looking at with drawing cues. On top of that, their hands are overlaid. So it's like having somebody there with me and if I'm uh, working on something, their hands will then come in and provide uh, cues. What I'm receiving is audio cues, visual cues, and feedback as if the person's there with me. So what that means is if there's an English second language, um, if there's uh, poor communication, or simply I have something upside down, they can see and it's like they're there with you. Well, ST Aerospace, uh, which is in Singapore, they were our uh, I guess almost our launch customer internationally. Uh, they saw this very quickly and adopted uh, trialling and now using the system. Uh, we are talking with organisations in the UAE as well and trials. Uh, they have already organised uh, for trials coming up. Within Australia, trials have been with our airports, um, within the, our industry where they may have several remote airports. You can have systems on the remote uh, sites. Next for Fountex is um, spiral development with the, with the changing uh, technology. We have the very latest in technology now. Um, we always in consultation with our customers and our clients and what their needs are and what their problems are so we can work through solutions. Not to take technology for technology's sake into their organisation, it's there to be as a tool.